Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer at Christ the King Anglican Church. Today is Wednesday, March 27th. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Page 11 in the prayer book. Dearly beloved, the scriptures teach us to acknowledge our many sins and offenses, not concealing them from our Heavenly Father, but confessing them with humble and obedient hearts, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. We ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before Almighty God, but especially when we come together in his presence, to give thanks for the great benefits we have received at his hands, to declare his most worthy praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things which are necessary for our life and our salvation. Therefore, draw near with me to the throne of heavenly grace. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, desires not the death of sinners, but that they may turn from their wickedness and live. He has empowered and commanded his ministers to pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardons and absolves all who truly repent and genuinely believe his holy gospel. For this reason, we beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that our present deeds may please him, the rest of our lives may be pure and holy, and that at the last we may come to his eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O oh, come, let us adore him. Together. O oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my works, forty years long was I grieved with that this generation and said, It is a people that err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways, of whom I swore in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O oh, come, let us adore him. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 68. You can find this on page 351 in the prayer book, Psalm 68. We'll do verses um, 1 through 18. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him also flee before him. As the smoke vanishes, so shall you drive them away. And as melt, wax melts before the fire, so let the ungodly perish before the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. 
Let them also be merry and joyful. O oh, sing unto God, and sing praises unto his name. Magnify him who rides upon the heavens. The Lord is his name. Rejoice before him. He is a father of the fatherless and defends the cause of the widows, God in his holy habitation. He is the God who gives the solitary a home and brings the prisoners out of captivity, but let, lets the rebellious dwell in a desert land. O God, when you went forth before the people, when you went through the wilderness, the earth shook and the heavens poured forth rain at the presence of God even as Sinai also was moved at the presence of God, who is the God of Israel. You, O God, sent a gracious rain upon your inheritance and refreshed the land when it was weary. Your congregation found a dwelling there, for you, O God, of your goodness, have provided for the poor. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those who proclaimed the tidings. Kings with their armies fled, they fled, and the women at home divided the spoil. Though you have lain among the sheepfolds, yet shall you be like the wings of a dove that are covered with silver, and whose feathers shine like gold. When the Almighty scattered kings, it was as if it snowed in Zalman. As the hill of Bashan, so is God's hill, even a high hill as the hill of Bashan. Why look with envy, you high hills? This is God's hill on which it pleases him to dwell. Surely the Lord will abide on it forever. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels, and the Lord has come from Sinai into the holy place. You have gone up on high. You have led captivity captive and received gifts from men, even from your enemies, that the Lord God might dwell among them. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our scripture for today is from Matthew chapter 27, beginning at verse 1. When morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And they bound him and led him away and delivered him over to Pilate, the governor. Then when Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, he changed his mind and brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders, saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. They said, What is that to us? See to it yourself. And throwing down the pieces of silver into the temple, he departed and he went and hanged himself. But the chief priests, taking the pieces of silver, said, It is not lawful to put them into the treasury, since it is blood money. So they took counsel and bought, bought with them the potter's field, as a burial place for strangers. Therefore that field has been called the field of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken by the prophet Jeremiah, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him on whom a price had been set, by some of the sons of Israel, and they gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord directed me. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You have said so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he gave no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they testify against you? But he gave him no answer, not even to a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. At the feast, the governor was accustomed to release for the crowd any one prisoner whom they wanted. And they had then a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ? For he knew that it was out of envy that they had delivered him up. Besides, while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, Have nothing to do with that righteous man, for I have suffered much because of him today in a dream. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus who is called Christ? They all said, Let him be crucified. 
And he said, Why, what evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. And all the people answered, His blood be on us and on our children. Then he released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Being the call this morning is the Benedictus, found on page 19. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Continuing on page 21 together. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. Assist us mercifully with your grace, Lord God of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the meditation of those mighty acts by which you have promised us life and immortality. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord and our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. 
Defend us by your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin nor run into any danger, and that guided by your Spirit we may do what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer focus this morning is for missionaries of Christ the King, so I invite prayers out loud at this time. Holy God, we thank you and praise you for this new day, and we thank you for the missionaries you've blessed us with and ask that you would hedge them round about with protection and peace. I would especially lift Jean up as she is uh, working on scheduling and very busy. Please guide and direct her and may her efforts be fruitful to your glory. Yes, Lord, we do ask you to... Um surround all of those we we uh, support our, our missionaries and our methods of outreach gene up in denver um kairos in both prisons especially santa rosa and grants um, we have a kairos of a, a full-fledged kairos weekend coming up in august um the middle of august and a team is being selected now. So I ask especially, Lord, that you will guide Vicki, who's the leader, as she prays about and makes selection of that team, that exactly the people you already know, Lord, will come to mind for her, and that she will choose both old and new team members, and that exactly the people who should be together will be chosen and will be able to be there and exactly the residents you would have be on this weekend uh, will be selected, that it will continue to be a blessing for the administration and for that institution, um, that the ministries we have in youth facilities uh, will continue and become stronger, that those young people will learn how to turn around their lives, make better decisions, so that they do not go to prison, um, that they learn now uh, that it's not cool to make these kinds of decisions and break the law, and that prison is no place, no place at all for them to spend uh, their adult years. We ask, Lord, that you continue to guide us at Christ the King, help us to find the ministries we should support the ways we should support these ministries and give us the courage and the joy um, in continuing to support these ministries with our prayers and with our pocketbooks. All these things we ask in your name. On page 25, join me as we pray the general thanksgiving together. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Together we say the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.